everyone. How's everyone doing out there? <clears throat> you see that title correctly. It's our last stream before Smash and Splash. And it's our last stream for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, right now the tote board sits at, well, actually 176.86 because we still need... Uh, we still, I still need to collect more bits before I can put them back into the fundraiser. But, um, but yeah, this is the last day of it, folks. And, yeah, we're not going to hit our $500 goal, but that's all right. But um, if for some reason we do, <laughs> the ne our next stream will be face cam. And if we hit 250 you get to decide what I uh, main for the rest of the stream. <laughs> But also, we've got, um, we've got something else different going on today, too. Because we're going to introduce Dana to rank mode. I mean, no, we're not going to actually bring her into, right into, you know, online play. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not that cruel. Um, You're just cruel enough to embarrass me in front of hundreds of people. No, instead, instead <laughs> what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her in a, a local connect lobby. I'm going to take her in a local connect lobby and basically just uh, show her the basics of the four rank modes. Well, I'm doing it, hon, I'm doing it on stream because otherwise we probably won't do it. So, <laughs> thank you for that, Ho Silver. And Icy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? And also, about Smash and Splash, apparently uh, the Kalahari kind of sprung something on the organizers today. Boing. Yeah, sprung. Um, basically, that, um, that, that, it, that the only type of large bags that will be allowed on the convention floor are clear backpacks and, dr and little drawstring bags. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that had everyone up in the tizzy because, you know, a lot of people are already there and a lot of people are en route. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, yeah, so this has a lot of people in an uproar. Um, they did confirm, they did confirm purses are, well, here's, here's what is allowed according to official word from the organizers. Purses, fanny packs, over-the-shoulder totes, Gaming console bags, you know, like your, you know, like your switch cases and accessories, for example. Camera bags and other similar style bags uh, can be approved, but may be requested for search. Um, so, though, so those are allowed. It's just like large bags and and backpacks aren't allowed unless they're clear. So, um, so yeah, that so that's what's going on. And this, like I said, the Kalahari kind of just sprung this on the organizers today. Um, and it's likely because of what happened at that Madden <coughs> NFL tournament late last year. Rocco, thank you, thank you so much for the host. Yeah. All right, just waiting for Dana to get ready. Let me at least uh, fast forward through off the hook here. Yeah. So I'm basically gonna I'm basically gonna show her the basics of um, each of the rank modes. So that she at least has an idea of what to do. <laughs> Dave, thank you so much for that host. All right. Yeah, yesterday. All right. Oh. Oh, Dana says some of the 3DS hacks still work. So, um, by the way, so there, so there is good news on that front too. Okay, when you get in, hun, <clears throat> you know, you know the part of, uh, you know the part of Inkopolis Square that's an arcade. You know, n next, n next, next to the quote-unquote DDR machine. Yeah, that's where I want you to go because we're going to connect locally. I can't believe I'm supposed to go to a tournament where people play this all the time. <clears throat> Well, well, the thing is, 
Well, the thing is, hon, um, what they're going to do is we're going to be we're going to be in a in, in a certain pool first, and we'll prob and we'll probably be last place. But the thing is, they take the bottom the bottom two from every pool are going to go into a special bronze bracket, okay, hang on. and we'll be, and we'll likely be in that with other teams more similarly skilled to us. So, okay, all right, host. All right, I'm hosting a private battle with no password. And that means what I want you to do is go to find room. You go to find room. And it sh yeah, enable a find room. Yeah, search again. Oh, come on. Probably because I'm not online. Oh, you, you, don't you shouldn't have to be online. The, 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 this should be done via Bluetooth. No, it's not. All right, why can't... All right, why can't why can't we do this? So I gotta go out and check my yeah, tr yeah, try that. Put out why are we not find why why is it not finding the room? No, um, not not quit out of the game, but go to the menu. Or. Yeah, go to the menu, go to your settings. Uh, keep going down. Uh huh, go back up. Go back up. It's sh keep going. There's no general network settings? No, go up. Huh, keep going. Keep going. No, go back. Go back. No, B. Hit B. Go back. Ah, jeez. Alright, we're having difficulty here. Okay, go back to the game. Okay, go go to the arcade. And this time I want this time I want you to host a room. Oh, wait a minute. Here, create a private battle, no password. No right. What, no password? Right. Okay. Alright, because if, if this doesn't work, then I've got another... Alright, I think I know what's going on. I, th I, think, I think we need to both be on the same region of the game. So I'll start up my... I was I, I was I was in the European version of the game, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna load up the American version of the game. No, don't get don't, don't leave the room. No, don't leave the room. Well, no, actually leave the room because I need to be the one to control it. All right, all right. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> Yeah, I think for this one we might need to be on the same region. That's all right. That's all right. At least you do have gear that's properly filled up. Yeah. Well, not not for this, but when we're actually at the tourney. Hey, Shadow and Dave, welcome to the stream. Yeah, basically what I'm doing now is I'm is I'm introducing Dana, I'm going to introduce Dana to uh, ranked modes. Oh, you need your shoes fixed? Ah. Uh, yeah. But but so how how many more ink resistance do you have though? I have no idea. Yeah, but yeah, but you don't. But if you already have two where you like them, don't re-roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, what you want is you want to re-roll something with a brand name that's. Uh, you want you want to roll something with a brand name that's. Um, that that tends to drop ink resistance. All right. Let's uh, let me, let's try this again. Preparing local play. 
All right. Host a private battle. Do clam blitz. It's the best mode. Well, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to show her all the modes. Okay. Go to go to find room. Oh come on! Why isn't it finding a room? When you went in, did it say preparing local play? It didn't. Wait, 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 wait. Go, don't, don't leave the arcade. Go, go into the arcade. Go into the arcade. Preparing local play. Find room. Why isn't it finding my room? Why isn't it? I'm sure there's no Bluetooth settings on this thing. <sighs> All right, let let me check something. I let me let me check something. Hold on. All right. Hold on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. So are you, are, so are, is your switch connected via wired or wireless? I'm I'm wondering if I'm wondering if that's what's going on. Uh Yeah, I'm yeah, I might need to yeah, I might need to switch to the wireless. Hold on. Ah, god. Just do a private lobby and none of us will join. Can I count on you guys to not join and screw things up? <laughs> let, let me try one more thing before I do anything else. Okay. Okay, I am now connected to the wireless. I am now connected to the wireless. Okay, now try. What the? It's, it's still... What the hell is going on? Ah, oh, man. Let me see here. If I, if This is weird. Did the latest update mess something up with local play? I don't know. I hope not. I hope not, or, or else, um, or, or else the turn, or else the tournament's gonna be DOA. <laughs> no, 
I, I gotta back out. Hold on. This is weird. Host a private battle for nearby players. No password. And go to find room. Search again. Why isn't it working? This is weird. Her switch, her her switch isn't 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 seeing. Her switch isn't seeing mine. Yeah, you try and host a room. You haven't updated your Japanese tune. The local play works with your cousin, but the American tune is updated and it's not. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, our switches can't see each other for some reason. You have? I've played twice. Oh. Oh, so you have played I some. All right. Well, or ride the tower to the base. All right. All right. We're going to all right. We're going to do we're going to do it the online way then. Um Yeah, yeah. I I can't connect with you either. So, we're going to do it the online way. And I hope I can trust you guys not to jump in. Unless, well, unless, of course, I can set more than two spectators. If I can set more than two spectators, then it doesn't matter. But, <clears throat> oh, it went back. To, did it go back to the wired connection? It went back to the wired connection. Okay, that, that's, all right. Well, we're, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. All right. Actually, it turns out my switch jumped back to the wired connection anyway, so... So I'm not gonna. So so my original idea was not gonna work anyway. So, all right. Yeah, I would have had to unplug the wire connection. So, what well, if you turn the connection completely off on both? Yeah, I. Yeah, I know. But, all right. All right. Private battle. I'm creating a room with no password. Go down to private battle. Join up with me once I pop. There. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna start with Rainmaker. I'm gonna and I'm gonna choose a, and I'm gonna choose a relatively easy Rain Rainmaker course, one where I can really show you. Okay. Now, also keep in mind that that in that in ranked modes, the uh, stage layouts tend to vary tend to vary from their turf war configuration. So, so, so you'll see so you see some uh, some features of courses that don't exist in other modes. All right. All right. First, head to the head to the center because that's where the rainmaker is. Yeah, I don't, I don't get to choose that. <laughs> get to the center. Okay, that's the Rainmaker, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Rainmaker is the Rainmaker has a shield around it. Now, what you want to do first is pop the Rainmaker's shield by shooting at it. 
Yeah. Yeah, see? All right. Now, to shoot the Rainmaker, um, you can shoot short spurts just by, just, by, just by flicking the ink button normally. Yeah, like that. Or you can hold it down until it fully charges. And then when it does that, it does that. And what you want to do is you want to take the Rainmaker to the top of this podium here. But also keep in mind, others can splat you. And, and when you get splat, the rain, as you can see on my screen, the Rainmaker stays where I splatted you. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna carry the Rainmaker this time. You can also direct the Rainmaker in an arc, too. The shots, you can shoot it up in an arc, too. Yeah, 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 and you can see on, and you can all, and you can almost always see on the map where the Rainmaker is. Uh-oh. Ah! We splatted each other. Now, what you want to do is, now, now the Rainmaker's closer to you, so you're going to be able to pop it long before I get over there. Now, now, when you have a team, what you want to do is you want to make sure you, is you want to make sure, now, keep in mind, remember, hold it down for the big shots. Yeah, like that. Now, in all likelihood, you probably won't be carrying the Rainmaker very often. So, so that, what, that means, what that means is you get to be support. Yeah. Now, now what you want to do is you want to be support. Is if you're not carrying the rainmaker, you want to be support. In other words, in other words, um, ink. Uh, that's part of it. Another part of it is inking a path for the rainmaker. Yeah, inking a path for the rainmaker, you might want to do too. And, and yeah, you can't use your special or subs while you while carrying the rainmaker. Yeah. I, I, I can put them as a spectator. That's not a problem. <clears throat> All right. Is total stranger? No, no. No, actually, this is someone who just followed me yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that's MJ. MJ just followed me yesterday. <clears throat> so, um... All right, now for splat zones. And let me, uh, le <clears throat> let me select a good splat zones course. <clears throat> One with a lot of open space so you can really see what's going on. Um, all right, Humpback Pump Track's a good one. So, um, so I'm going to, so I'm now show, I'll show you the basics of splat zones. Now, I'm not going to have my usual splat zones, I'm not going to have my usual splat zones, um, weapon for this. Usually I use a flingza with splat zones. I find a good perch point and I just fling stuff into the splat zone. Splat zones is basically a scaled down version of turf war. Head, head, head for the center because that's where the splat zone is. Yeah. It's a scaled-down version of Turf War. What you want to do is you want to control that that particular area of turf. There's a, um, most have only one. Uh, the ones that have two, the two are the two are right next to each other. But your opponents can also fight for control. This is where if if you know how to ink, if you're if you're good at inking, you will. You will succeed. You can succeed at this. See, look at this. You see how long it took me to take control of the splat zone because because you were putting pressure on me all that time. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Just come back to the splat zone. As a matter of fact, I'll just waste my booyah bomb right now, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now get back to the splat zone. Take it over. Take over the splat zone. 
And again, when you're on a team, you want to you want to try to keep your opponents from taking the splat zone. It, yes. <laughs> See, if you can build up your yeah, if you, if you can build up your splat yeah, if if you're if you have your splashdown ready, try to use it on the splat zone. This time I'm not wasting my Booyah Bomb. It's okay, just, just, just come back. Yeah. Yeah, at least, yeah, yeah, at least you, yeah, I just want you to basically understand the concepts and strategies. Behind the mode. Only playing Turf War, yeah. But, but that's okay. Well, yeah. You well, well. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you all of them. I'm gonna give you all of them. So that so, so ends quick. So so you be, so you got the basics of splat zones. I mean I mean, do you remember that shifty zone with all the splat zones in it? That shifty station. Yeah, from a couple from a couple months ago. Yeah. Well, splat zones come from this mode here. Yeah, if you have your yeah, if you have your splash down ready, try to use it in the splat zone. Um, alternately, use it on the enemy. So I'm gonna let this finish. And that and that splat zones. All right, all right, we got two down, two to go. Yeah, like I said, consider this your crash course in rate. Well, like I said, at least now you know what to do. You won't be flailing around. Won't be flailing around do yeah, you won't be flailing around. Yeah. Next is tower control. Let me uh, let me find a good tower control map. That's all right. Oh, oh, David's giving some advice too. Clam Blitz advice for Dan. Use the curling bomb to get to the goal by inking a path. It will also help to build your special. Remember, you can't super jump with the clams to the spawn because they shatter. When you use your splashdown, you will lose your clams too. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't use your splashdown when you're when you're carrying clams, or else they'll scatter. Yeah. All right. So let's um. So let's introduce you to tower control now. Yeah, one de now one definite thing about tower control, if the if your if your opponents know they're going into tower control, and if 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 people know they're going into tower control, there will usually be some snipers. Snipers excel best at tower control, but we're not snipers, so you gotta watch out for them. Again, head to the center. Be prepared. Yeah, be prepared for snipers to be on your ass. Now with. Now, now, th now, this is where I can also show you how the layout's different. You know how usually there's a big tower in the center of this? I mean, a giant tower in the center of this map in Turf War? Well, not in Tower Control. Yeah, Tower Control has checkpoints where you basically gotta keep defending the tower. There I am, but notice the tower stopped. Because we're both on it. If both teams are on the tower, the tower stops. Yeah. So you basically want to ride the tower, you want to watch out for snipers while you're on the tower. The best way to ride the tower is submerged in your ink, by the way. Submerge in your ink while you're on the tower. See, because then I don't know where in that tower you are. And I, and I have to flail around. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No. <laughs> I didn't get back to you in time. But yeah, see see how you just surprised me with that splashdown? Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, when you're riding the tower, you definitely want to watch out. David says, build your special and then super jump to your, to, if your team is on the tower. Now again, if you're not on the tower, your support 
In other words, ink around the tower to try and prevent your opponents from getting to it. What? You, you don't know how to... Oh, oh, you go, oh, you go, oh, you go to the, you go to the map and you put, and you put your cursor on who you want to super jump to. Okay. Every yeah. Yeah, so remember you can hold the curling bomb to make it explode quicker than usual. Your weapon is a good choice for splatting enemies trying to climb up the tower. Yeah, it's a good short yeah. yeah, it's a good short range weapon. So what you want to, do, so what you want to do when you're, so like I said, what you want to do when you are, um, when you're not in the tower, when you're not in the tower, what you want to do is you want to be support. Um, you know, try to splat enemies, ink, ink around the tower so the enemies can't get to the tower. Yeah, we're doing one more. We got clam blitz. And let me try to pick a good clam blitz course. Yeah, I know. I know. I can make them a spectator. It's no idea. It's no problem. I'm going to choose moray towers for clam blitz because 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 it's the smallest of the courses and we won't have to and we won't have to flail around as much. All right. Yep. That's okay. Oh, some people want kelp dome or piranha pit for for clam blitz, but but in clam but but I chose Moray Tower because all the action of clam blitz from Moray Tower takes place in mid, and we don't and we don't have and I don't have to flail around the course as much. The goal in clam blitz is to, is to basically start by collecting clams. Now, all the clams are going to be at or near mid in this course. In most other courses, the clams will be all over the place. Now, when you get 10 clams, you get what's called a super clam. It looks like a football. For example, I have a super clam right now. Yeah, I have a super clam right now. When you yeah, and only super clams can break the barrier of the baskets. See, I just scored on you. What's the point? You have a super clam now. You want to come up here to the basket. And you hit and you hit A, which is the rightmost button to put it. No, you have to aim it. Unfortunately, you you unfortunately you killed the uh Yeah. Now now when, yeah, when the enemy get when the enemy gets a basket on you, you get what's called a pity clam after your barriers back up. So your pity clam is waiting there for you. Yeah, you're gonna have to aim, you're gonna have to aim the super clam. Oh. Now when you get up there, aim the clam toward the basket with your motion controls and then hit A. There you go. And while it's open, you can throw other clams in there. You can throw single clams in there by hitting A. Yeah, if you had some. Yeah. Yeah, it's back up. And now I have the pity clam. Pity clam is an instant super clam. Yeah, well, you had one earlier. See, you got pity clam still waiting by your basket, and it's actually cut. And believe it or not, it's actually a good strategy to leave the pity clam for later, because the pity clam will not disappear until someone touches it. I don't know. If it didn't form into a super clam first, you might have accidentally hit A and dropped some. Well then, come. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, now, if you can get more clams, oh, I, oh, damn! I'm super clammed. That's me. <laughs> that's me <laughs> with a super clam. See, now watch, now watch what happens to a clam that's been carried. Watch what happens. See, it disappears after a time. But notice, my pity clam didn't. The pity clams don't disappear until they've been carried. See, see, carrying it now. 
is the mode a lot of people hate the most. It's not just you. Yeah, uh, you have some clams sitting up, sitting up, sitting up by your basket. Now, let's go to your basket and go up the ramp, and you'll find clams. See, now, yeah, pick those up and throw them in. Throw them in. Throw them in. Aim. There you go. See? That's how you throw single clams. And you and you still have time to throw in to throw that one too. Now again, if you Now again, in this game you can carry clams and be support. By the way. Yeah. Yeah, and and when I broke in your barrier, you can't you can't sh you when when the opponent has yeah when the when you when you've broken the opponent's barrier, the opponent can't put clams in your basket. See, if you look on my screen, I can't put clams in your basket right now. But now I and and see only a super clam can break can break the barrier. Yep. Yeah, overtime can last up to five minutes, and the overtime rules on Clam Blitz are kind of sketchy. Oh! But the overtime, the overtime ran out be just before I could put that clam in your basket. But you got the basics of Clam Blitz? And another way... Yeah, yeah. Support for clam blitz for clam blitz basically involves just just laying down ink so you have mobility. That's 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 the basic support for clam blitz. Laying down ink so you have mobility, and if you don't and if you don't have a super clam, and someone else from your team does, yeah, yeah, we're yeah we're killing we're killing the uh, we're killing the private battle there. Starkle, welcome to the stream. Starkle calls it football. And Ronkle, welcome to the stream too. And uh, Rocco, thank for the thank you for the host earlier. So yeah, overtime is three seconds unless it, oh unless it's tied. That's it. Okay, so that's the so that's the basics of um of the rank modes. You 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 pretty much you pretty much understand it all now. Yeah yeah. So now you know what to do. All right. Yeah, so <laughs> Dana says, enough of babies for a Splatoon. Let's join Zen's lobby, folks. Let's 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 start the meat of the stream. <laughs> Alright! This is our last stream before Smash and Splash. It's also our last stream for uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Which uh, which specializes in uh, childhood cancer, by the way. And they research new treatments and um, and hopefully someday a cure. But uh, but they can't operate without the help of donations from people like you. And another thing those donations help for is um, is the fact that they don't charge any patients out of pocket. I mean, yeah, they'll charge insurance companies, but um, but any uh, anything that would normally be out of pocket expenses. They pay it. It's on the house. But again, that's that's because of these donations. Oh, did did you, oh did you join Zen's lobby too? Oh, Zen's lobby was full. Ah, crap. So um, so 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 yeah, donate and help some kids. Um, this is a, this is the last day of our fundraiser. We're we're not likely to hit our goal. If if we do hit 250, uh, you get to choose my weapon for the rest of the stream. I should do a random lobby and it's all Japanese random. If we hit 500, 
If we if we do somehow hit 500, I will face cam. Oh, they placed Dane in the Japanese lobby. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, she's got her special up if she needs it. Yeah, you actually got someone. See, that's the thing. You're good at laying down ink. In other words, you'd be very good in the support role, which I which I want you to try to do. I mean, I showed you I showed you the basics of the game, but ooh, I showed you the basics of the rank modes. But mo but more often than not, hun, you're gonna you're gonna be a support role. So basically, you know, you know, lay down ink to try and increase our mobility. Lay down ink around the tower to try and prevent the opponents from getting to it. You know. It was better in the second the job anyway. Yeah. Sarko says, just try playing online rank mode, which 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 actually starts out rather early because if you're because you're a C rank, if you're a C rank, you'll only be. You only be joined with other C ranks. If you're a B rank, you'll only be joined with other B ranks. You know, that's how rank mode works. All right, we're in Zen's lobby. Yeah, but if, but if for some, but but if for some reason, like I said, strive for support. But if for some reason um, you're like the only one around that can push objective, then that would be the time to push objective. All right. Yeah, Dana got put in a tough lobby. All right, who's on my team, by the way? Oh, Zen is on my team. All right. Ooh! Starkle with the pooty gun. No, with the Tenta missiles. Oh, I thought that. I thought he got me with a pooty gun. He has a pooty gun, though. Ah, oh, God. You're getting killed out there. Ooh. Um, that would be why too. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you have if you have food you'll level up you can either level up or um, or get cash quicker. Oh! I couldn't have gotten Starkhold two seconds earlier. That is the food menu. Unless it was on your other two. Yeah. Yeah, if... Oh, 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 you want... Oh, if you're leveling up clothing, yeah, go hit X. Yeah, it's a drink, not a snack. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Can we avoid the three quarter white. We avoided the three. Oh, come on. Maya's base rating. We, we've got to take back mid. We've we got to either take back mid or defend our home base. Either or. Either or. Ha. Huh. Why? It doesn't matter if you're if you're if you're leveling up gear. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Uh. 
Well, then again, normal gear takes longer to fully level up anyway, so. Uh. Oh, David says, Dana, if you want to do League to Prince. Dana can't do League, because she's not, because she's not, she's not at least, um, she's not at least B rank in any mode. Yeah. Yeah, all she ever plays is Turf War. So. But yeah, League is bad for beginning. <laughs> because cause League is League is where actual competitive teams go to scrimmage. So. Yeah. Yeah, the best the best thing for beginners is the best thing for beginners for ranked modes is ranked mode. Because you're C rank and you're playing with other C ranks. And and in order to even have access to lead, you need to be at, you need to be I think at least uh, I think at least B minus in in a ranked mode. Yeah, I figure we're gonna get I figure we're gonna get pwned on this match. Holy specials, they got all their specials out and an overflosher. Yeah, if they have both, if they, they have both Zen and Starkhall on the same team, we're not winning this. Oh man, that Overflosher Milk is uh, intense. He knows how to actually aim the overflosher, and that's difficult to do. me out of their home base. But yeah, at least now Dana knows what to do. This lobby, folks. And oh 
my god, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong version of the game for- I'm in the wrong version of the game. <laughs> That's right, I, I, I just had to go to a version that had English so I, so I could actually read what modes I'm showing her, but... After this match, I'm gonna- I'm, I've got- I've, After this match, I gotta switch versions. <laughs> Oh, I finally get both Zen and Star- Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I finally get both Zen and Starkhole and someone's lagging out, but apparently they're not lagging out. Alright. Wait, is, is, it, is it squid bagging or partying? He did- he did it after he splatted someone? If it's done after splatting someone, it's a squid bag. If it's not, it's just squid party. Oh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's squid bag. Alright. The enemy's team has a circle around them? Oh, yeah. Yes, that means you're being trapped. Oh, man. That overflasher deco. Overflosher, Zen, get the overflosher. We just lost, I think. Oh, man! They got into our home base at the end and just messed it all up. You got a new splat record for the Golden Dynamo, Dave? Cool. to know why it wouldn't connect us locally. That was weird. Although actually now that I think about it, I think it might I think it might have been because I was on the wired and she was on wireless. If we were both on the wireless, it probably would have worked. But I, th but I thought switches could connect via, via Bluetooth. 
I mean, seriously, I always thought switches could connect peer to peer via Bluetooth. Because I remember back in December 2017, at the Mall of America, at the at the Nintendo kiosk, they had a uh, they had a salmon run set up, and in the uh, and in their in their shoal, they had set up a salmon run room. But my switch could see it because I brought because I brought my switch. My my switch could see their room that they had set up. All right. And, um, and by the way, I'm probably going to be uh, ending stream a little early. I'm probably going to be um, ending stream a little early today. Uh, mainly because I got to at least start preliminary packing. <laughs> oh, Zen's room is full again. Ah, crap. Uh, I gotta wait around then. Let's let's see let's see if the room uh, frees up a bit. Cause I really oh there we go. Hopefully, there we go. All right, I'm in the waiting room. I'm in the raining room and the match is getting close to its end. So hopefully we won't be waiting around too long. Also, uh, speaking of tournaments, um, I will be having one last 1v1 tournament Friday, June 28th. Um, the prize will be the, uh, the Robo Gear from Koro Koro Magazine. But, of course, you know, you can't use it unless you have the Japanese version of the game. So, uh, we're going to throw that into the prize, too. So, we're going to throw that in, too. <laughs> uh, oh, you left the room, Dave? Uh, All right, let's see if we get into Zen's room here. Yeah, because I'm supposed to be leveling up my Japanese tune right now. Because my American tune hit 90 this morning. I was playing, I was actually playing some rank mode again this morning. And I actually did pretty well. And once all three of my tunes are, uh, well, ac no, actually, we're technically halfway through the uh, the prestige push grind right now. All right. Oh, both sides have a splat link. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I forgot to swap out my weapon! No! I forgot to swap out my weapon. <laughs> yeah.
Ah. I forgot to switch my weapon back. I was playing Splat Zones last. That's why I've got the flings on right now. Oh, Zen, coming around the back. Ha. Huh. All right. <laughs> All right, let me swap my weapon back out here. <laughs> There. <laughs> but yeah, I was actually doing pretty well in Splat Zones. Um, better on Makomart than Starfish Main Stage. <laughs> on Star when I was on Starfish Main Stage, it was like my teams couldn't keep me protected. Because what I do with the flings is I pick a perch point and I just fling sh into the... I fling stuff into the Splat Zone. And, uh, and if the other team can get to me, well, it's kind of a failure of the team. <laughs> because I'm usually staying behind. Um, just in case, just in case we decide to use the water park. Oh, okay.
Ah, tree with a booyah bomb. Yeah, I def I I let me tell you, I definitely felt the uh I definitely felt the shield nerf there. Dooleys were able to splat my shield by their lonesome. That's not good. about this one folks we'll see yes woot Zach welcome to the stream yes I heard about the shifty station but yeah they're yeah they're bringing back the uh, the mechanic from mahi mahi Realize we have to go on the weekend, right? Oh, yeah, it, it, and it could take the it, it could take the place of mall walk. Hell, we'd be walking all around the museum. All right. Both Zen and Starkle are on my team. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end I'm gonna end the stream probably around 10:30 Eastern because I gotta do some preliminary packing before I go to work. Probably civil. Well, at least it was an indirect trade. I'll take an indirect trade. May it through the storm. Through the storm! Ah! We've got to take back mid. We have got to take back mid.
damn. Hot damn. Call the police and fireman. Ah. I think we got this one. I wonder what the Splatfest will be for North America and Europe. Japan will have its own Splatfest on the 15th of June. Um, I don't think Japan's, I don't think, I don't think any Splatfest has been announced yet. As far as I'm aware, no Splatfest for June has been announced yet. Let me double check on that. Because as far as I'm aware, there's not, there, there isn't any Splatfest announced for June yet. No, no Splatfest for June has been announced yet. Oh, they, they already gave us a three-quarter wipe. Flush there and really knows how to work that thing. All right. No more Ms. Nice Squid. We did not win this. <sighs> it was close, though. We didn't win, but it was close. That's what Snorth93 said on YouTube? 
No, they have no. They have not announced the uh, Japanese Splatfest or any Splatfest for June yet. I mean, they data mined out the Shifty Station, but the act, but what the actual Splatfest is has has not been. Uh, but what the actual Splatfest or Splatfests are, they have not announced yet. Like I said, all we know is what the Shifty Station's like. All right. Oh, that good overflosher is no longer using the overflosher. Now that they're now that they're on my team, they're not using the overflosher. <sighs> That's usually how it is, folks. From above, arrow spray edition. Ah! Damn, Starkhold. <laughs> oh, the eight bit. Haha, <laughs> we got that. We got that. You ran out of ink. Ah. <laughs> uh. Gotta love Booyah Bomb's standoff. <laughs> like I said, you gotta love Booyah Bomb's standoff. Read your last comment. The only problem is we don't know the picture, and the problem is that we don't know if there's going to be water in the stage or if we're going to have water dropping. Yeah, we do know that, actually. They are bringing back that mechanic from Mahi Mahi. They, we do know that. Oatmeal Dome has confirmed they are bringing back that mechanic of the water rising and dropping. So we do know that.
or actually, actually just the water dropping, I should say. The water dropping to reveal more parts of the course, they are bringing that mechanic back. You're rusty? Oh no. Like I've said before, it's too bad you can't hear your own booyahs. Oh, here comes that overflasher again. Oh. I got stuck hole, but then the 8-bit fished me out. <laughs> what? Double teamed. Okay, looks like we got Starkhole out of there. But unfortunately, there's that damn overflasher again. Yeah, A10! The only time A10 didn't use the overflasher was when they were on my team. Again, on our on our team, the the uh, me and Zen both inked over a thousand. The other two didn't even match five hundred. Ah oh, man, school's been getting me lately, and I haven't had a good time to play until now. Ah, gotcha. Ah. 
Also, who's psyched for E3? Not only for the, uh, not only for the E3 Direct that will be coming out, but, um, but also, uh, for the, uh, Splatoon 2 World Championship. The thing is, there's only one team making a repeat representation, and that's the GG Boys. The GG Boys will be representing Japan to defend their title. As for the other teams, representing the U.S. will be FT Win, which uh, which has a couple former mem which I think has a couple former members of Set to Destroy X on it. But it's basically the super team that was formed uh, for Inkstorm last year. And the thing, and the thing is the. And the thing is, Inkstorm was supposed to be uh, the American qualifier for the uh, for the platinum for, plat for the platinum cup four, which was held in Japan. But but unfortunately, um, despite the best efforts of Endgame TV, they were unable to uh, secure travel arrangements for either FT Win or the second place finishers Crack in Paradise. So. Um, So what happened instead was the third and fourth place teams, which were uh, set to destroy X and uh, Team Olive, then then, be then sponsored by Ghost Game, they went to Japan for Platinum Cup Four instead. But FT but FT win. FT Win pretty much uh, took out all of the competition. I mean, FT FT Win beat Set to Destroy X at Inkstorm at, at Inkstorm last year. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! I hope that wasn't enough time for them to come back. Phew! Uh, all your losses are on Inkblot. Oh, jeez. Maps and modes, folks! What have we got? Oh, Snapper Canal and Devon Museum. Oh, why I do that for? No! Yeah. So we got Snapper Canal and Devon Museum. Oh, so, so, Skipper Pavilion and Devon Museum. Sorry. Sorry. Skipper Pavilion and Devon Museum, rather. Why was I why was I thinking Snapper Canal? No, Skipper Pavilion and Devon Museum. So we got Snapper and Ballpoint Hell. No, Skipper and Ballpoint Hell. Or unless Skipper is the Ballpoint Hell.
Yeah, I don't think any of us are playing with a full deck today, folks. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I haven't had my vitamins today. Yes, I have. I think. No, I haven't. Or have I? Am I? I I don't know. I'm trying to think. No, I haven't. That's right. Yeah, I know. Huh. That's right, I have my glass of stuff, but I have... All right, hold, hold on a moment. I will be right back. There we go. All pills taken. All pills taken. I got some juice to drink in the meantime. Mm. All right, Starkle, you made it. <clears throat> Who else? A ten is still here. Oh my god! Zen randomly got paired back up with 810. Aw, oh man. And here I thought I wouldn't have to deal with that damn overflasher again. There he is at the top of the list. Correction, there she is. 810's a female squid. I mean, granted, I'm... I mean, granted, it might... Granted, for all we know, it might still be a male player, but... If I don't know the gender of the player, I default, I default to the avatar.
Oh god, I think I might have Rick's screen. Or maybe not. Okay. Oh. God. I thought we were done with you, 810. I'm trying to defend the home base, Zen. Zen's like, why isn't anyone with me? I'm like, I'm trying to defend our damn home base. <laughs> Seriously. Unmute it. Ah! Starkle is just picking us off with a pooty gun. In the spirit of Splat for the Kids, DJ took her Flintstones vitamins. Ha! <laughs> huh. Why was everyone dead, Zen? Because Starkle. That's why. Because Starkle. We got it. We have the back. No, we don't. Someone's coming their way. Ah! I hate that. I hate when I get when I get splatted. And like a split second later, the one that splatted me gets splatted by someone else on my team. It's like, you couldn't have done that a split second sooner, really? Now they have a pooty gun. And we're back in danger. I 
feeling where you're wondering if you're carrying your team. Well, where'd they go? Alright, we need help again in the back! We got a good- we- we've- we've got a good handle on the front! We need help in the back! We need our horses in the back! Okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. But again, this is my last stream before Smash and Splash, folks. After tonight, you won't see, you won't see me on stream again until Tuesday. So, All right, we're probably Kibble, because they have both Zen and Starkle, so. Didn't? Woo! Oh, did you see that? Not often I make a move like that and have it succeed. God, how much firepower you you got anyway? Oh god. Did someone get into our home base again? Yeah. As usual.
And we're flirting with danger again. I'm not messing with a squelcher. Just not messing with a squelcher. Ah. Well, we didn't win that. We did? 1.3%! Holy crap! I I think the difference was that see that booyah bomb in their home base? Yeah, I threw that. <laughs> that was the difference. That booyah bomb was the difference, folks. <laughs> I thought we were gonna be kibble that round. There's no better feeling than getting a win when you're the underdog. Seriously. <laughs> oh, I'm the underdog again. Oh, this oh this time they put 810 on their team. Actually, I think 810 was on their team last time too. Wasn't she? Is he 10 on their team last time? I don't remember. Oh, here comes Starkhole and Zen in our home base. Oh, Starkhole's squiffing now, huh? Starkhole's sniping now? No more Mr. Nice Octo. <laughs> well, at least I traded with Zen. And it looks like someone else got Starkhold, so... Not that time, Starkhole. Ah! Oh, God. 15 seconds is still... Oh, don't group around. Don't just group around like that. No, no, no. I mean, shoot. <laughs> ah, it's, it's, a, it's the last day of fundraiser. I'm not going to worry too much. I think we lost that. No, we won that. All right. <laughs> huh. 
<sighs> DJ, I swear I got you. I heard the glass sound. Well, I, well, I had ink armor on. You, you must have killed the ink armor. Well, this time it gave us Star Coal. So. All right. Did not quite get Zen. Uh, Starkhold, Zen's raiding our home base. Might, I just figured you might want to know that. Get Zen out of our home base. And the fact that Zen keeps popping that frickin' ink storm is not helping. They double team me. And they got Starkhold's number. All right, I got time for one more, folks. And then I've got to call it a stream. Oh, that, ro that roller sucks. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that roller, but that roller sucks. And also, if you want to donate to uh, St. Jude, this is your last chance to do it. 
The campaign ends when this stream ends, folks. Ah, that roller's on my team again. That roller's garbage. How do you have a dynamo roller and only manage to ink under and manage to ink under five hundred? I mean, seriously, how do you manage under five hundred? with a frickin' dynamo. that Booyah Bomb go too early. Oh, no wonder Zen and Starkhole are on the same team. Not only do I have the trashy roller, but Zen and Starkhole are on the same team. someone in our home base. Starkle. How did I get how did I guess? At least we got out of danger. <sighs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to call it off here, folks. All right. That's going to be it because I need to do some preliminary packing for Smash and Splash. So, um, so thanks to Silver, Ronco, and Dave for those hosts. And, um, and the final total is actually going to be 177.66 because, because we have, we have a, we have a partial dollar fed in, but I, I have to round that up to a whole dollar for the, um, for, for the tote board. So the final tote board for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for Splat for the Kids is 177.66. So, um, so, that, so that's it for that, folks. Um, other streamers are going to go until the very end of the month, but unfortunately I will not be streaming tomorrow or Friday. So my, my portion of the campaign ends here. Um, but that's all right. We, we did okay, I think. I, frankly, I, I didn't even expect to uh, collect this much, to be honest. <laughs> but 
but but we did pretty well on that front and also um also let me give a shout out to ronko washino i'm sure she's playing uh uh and where that type that typed nowhere okay all right she's playing pokemon emerald right now um zen Zagrid is keeping this lobby open so we're gonna go raid him and um and that's like i said that's gonna be it um that's gonna be it for now i will see you back on tuesday the fourth once i return from smash and splash um, you'll pro you might even you might be even be able to uh, see my team casual ink play if you uh, follow Endgame TV one. Uh, let me uh, let me let, let me let me search back because I. Cause... Yeah, Endgame TV one. So if you want so if you want to see if you find casual ink at Smash and Splash. That's the chan that's the channel that I that that I will be on <laughs> if, if they decide to broadcast any of Casual Inc's matches. We are in I think pool 5, I think. Let me see. I think it's I think it's pool 5 I'm in. Uh I let, let me uh, let me take a look here. I, I got some time. I've got some time here. Let me see, cause, cause they have, cause they have defined the pools. And I can't remember if it's under Endgame TV or under Smash and Splash. Oh there, oh there we go. Pool C one, no pool C two. We are in pool C two. Which starts at um, 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. And we'll be in the same pool with the following teams. Um, Deep Blue, Hanran, Overpower, Hot House Heroes, Eggy, Da F, and Furika. Those are the teams we'll be playing against in, in, um, in, in Pool C2. So... Uh, and um, believe it or not, none of the really big teams are here this year. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised about that because last year, you know, you know, last year Set to Destroy X was there, you know? Oh, wait a minute, never mind. Uh, Demise is there. Never mind, Demise is there. Demise is in Pool B2. They're one of the big ones. But that's really the only, that's really the only big name I see. And uh, our team captains, N Squared, has a team there too. The N Squared Squid Squad in that same B2. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna be, yeah we're in Pool C2, Casual Link. So um, so we're gonna start playing at, at at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern, and we'll probably end up in the Bronze Pool. <laughs> and um, and the, we'll probably end up in the bronze pool on Saturday. And that will start at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. So um, so if you want to see us play, that's where to see us play. <laughs> all right, then. We're going to, all right, let's get that raid going. And until Tuesday, you know what to do. Follow and subscribe, join the Particle Acceleration. You can also join us on Discord, exclamation mark Discord in the chat, or just scroll down to where it says join the Particle Acceleration on Discord. I'll see you at Smash and Splash. And until Tuesday, I'm DJ Particle. I'm signing off. Peace. <laughs>